All right. According to Forbes, 70% of U.S. households households own a pet, with dogs being the most popular. The most popular, 69 million U.S. households to this day own a dog. This applies to pretty much everyone, everyone in this room, because I've all heard y'all talk about either you have a dog or you have a friend that has a dog or someone in your family has a dog, and we all know the joint it brings to our family. I'm Caleb Whitworth. I'm a student here at... research that I've conducted in my own. Today, I'm gonna to talk about Rescue Road and their mission, the communication concepts that support a positive service experience, and ways communication can improve, and ways these foundational principles can improve my communication and um, our community. Whether any of y'all have adopted a dog or bought one from a breeder, we all know the joy they bring to our families. According to GuideStar, Rescue Road's mission is to redirect happy, healthy, adoptable dogs in high field shelters into other networks to find their forever homes. Through the virtual team of their volunteers and foster families in Arkansas, they're able to send dogs north. And so for volunteer research, for volunteer experience, you're able to be a foster home, which would be fostering dogs like them, uh, taking them whenever they're taken out of the kill shelter that if they were on the euthanasia list. You're able to bring them into your home and foster them until they are able to get a driver, which is also another volunteer opportunity, to drive the dogs from here in Little Rock up north to where apparently dogs are more adoptable. Another one is they need rescuers, which are the people who take dogs, again, like those pictured on the screen, uh, out of high kill shelters and bring them into their um, foster homes here in Little Rock. Now that we know a little bit about Rescue Road and their mission, um, we can talk about the concepts. So, uh, no matter the severity of the situation, we've all been in a situation we felt like it was life or death and we had to talk our way out of it. And so, for here, Global Labels is a concept I chose. According to Communications in the Real World 2016, labeling someone irresponsible, untrustworthy, selfish, or lazy calls his or her, calls his or her whole identity as a person in a question. Such sweeping judgments and generalizations are sure to only escalate a negative situation. So for example, pit bulls, like the one on the right, they all have, not all of them, but a lot of people look at them as aggressive dogs or a dog that just attacks, whereas that's the trainer. And uh, so that could be a label as that affects the dog and their attention potential to get adopted. Another concept was persuasive speaking. According to the Department of Applied Communications 2016, persuasive speaking seeks to influence the beliefs, attitudes, and uh, values or behaviors of audience members. For example, when adopting out dogs, um, these owners, even though you want them to go the best home possible, sometimes it takes some speaking if someone does not know if they are ready to take in this pet during this time or what not. And so they're convincing someone to act and get these adopt these dogs out. And this supports a positive service experience because it's getting these dogs into homes that otherwise would have been euthanized. Communication affects the rescue missions in many ways. However, there are principles that they build their rescue off of. We all adapt messages differently and in many different situations, all our situations are different, no matter the severity. Um, one of the foundational principles that I chose to uh, improve my communication was the meaning of messages are influenced by interpretation. The, according to Department of Applied Communications 2023, communicators generate meaning. Communicators are unique, therefore meaning is unique. Communicators generate interpretations. Communicators are unique, therefore interpretations are unique. What I think to me, what I think I mean is unique to me alone. And for example, to go along with this uh, mission uh, of Rescue Road, everybody's story is differently and uh, dog breeds are interpreted differently. So one person may think it's the best, one person may think it's the worst dog, but that's where Rescue Road steps in in order to get these dogs homes. And this improves communication, my communication by knowing that everyone will interpret something differently. It's all a part of a complex communication process. And uh, so even if someone gets something twisted that you said, it's just their way of interpreting it. 
an ethical implication that can uh, improve our community is fairness. The, according to Department of Applied Communications 2023, considering all sides of the situation without showing favor to our own interests is what fairness is defined as. And so everyone is treated the same. There's no judgment. And for an example, everyone's story is different and there's always a reason whether it's an older couple who no longer has the ability to get the dogs out and exercise no matter the reason why dogs go to the shelter uh, that rescue road does not um, take them and judge them for bringing the dog to a shelter because they could be doing what's best and so now that you know more about rescue road let's review what i talked about today Today, I talked about Rescue Road and their mission, the communication concepts that can improve our communication, and the foundational principles that can improve our communication and ethical implications that improve our community. So although they send dogs north and you cannot adopt locally, you can still foster these dogs, and then I'm sure there's a way around uh, adopting them if you are a foster here in Little Rock and I forgot to change my slide. So yeah, that's it.